My son Bobby was killed in the World Trade Center by an explosion that went off before the towers fell. Bobby was entering the lobby on his way to a meeting. The explosion that killed him may have happened right when the first plane hit. But according to some eyewitnesses, it occurred even before that. I think a bomb went off in the lobby first, then a plane hit the building. The bomb hit the lobby first, and a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. We run to the field, I had a full body, and we took him and buried him. Bobby's whole face was obliterated, and then had lacerations through his chest. It just seemed like he was hit, the only way I can say is it looked like he was hit by a, a, a shotgun. With his injuries, there was no, no doubt in my mind that he was hit with some sort of explosion. I talked to, you know, you know, I don't know how many firemen, how many EMT workers. I talked to people in the basement, and all, everyone's talking about these explosions going off. He was in the explosion. He was in the lobby, and the, fucking, the, the third explosion, the whole lobby collapsed on us. I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. He thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. There was a secondary explosion, probably a device either planted before or on the aircraft. What, what you tell me is that there was plane or whatever hit the building, then a secondary explosion. It was like three explosions after that. We came in after the after the fire. We came when the fire was going on already. I was down in the basement, came down, all of a sudden the elevator blew up, smoke. I dragged the guy out, his skin was hanging off. I know people that got killed in the basement. I know people that got broken legs in the, in the basement. People got reconstructed for surgery because the walls hit them in the face. We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby, it was this big explosion. Well, we came out on the lobby. Uh, there were still people on the floor, uh, uh, dead on the floor. There was a person encrusted on the floor. Well, I have here the 9-11 Commission report, and this is their explanation. A jet fuel fireball erupted upon impact and shot down at least one bank of elevators. The fireball exploded onto numerous lower floors, including the 77th and 22nd floor, the West Street lobby level, and the B4 level, four stories below ground. And this really struck me. They say the fireball came down the one elevator shaft, exploding on 72nd floor, exploding on the 22nd floor, exploding in the lobby. It's 208 feet by 208 feet. That's a big place. All the windows were blown out. Something had happened right there in the lobby. You just saw that all the windows were blown out. The lobby looked like the plane hit the lobby. The pass station, there's a lot of damage at the pass station. Well, I was in the pass train and there was a huge explosion sound. Again, let's get back to that asinine fireball. Later, they figure out that flaming jet fuel had shot straight down the elevator shaft. Coming down 93 floors, stopping at all those places, come out, supposedly at the lobby, and blowing all the windows out. That is impossible. This report represents the unanimous conclusion of the National Commission on Terrorist Attacks upon the United States. Even 9-11 commissioners said it was a sham. They were there to support the official story of 9-11, which was the towers came down by fire. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers, a huge explosion now. Of course, the towers being as tall as they are, how do you think they would come down in free fall speed or practically free fall speed? You have to have demolition set up in there. These buildings were brought down by demolition. The second building that was hit by the plane has just completely collapsed. The entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off when you see the old demolitions of these old buildings, it's My folded God. down on itself and it is not there anymore. About 75 flights up, below the fire, I saw from the corner, boom, 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 boom. This is clearly, the, the, the way the structure is collapsing, this was the result of something that was planned. This is not, it's not accidental that the first tower just happened to collapse and then the second tower just happened to collapse in exactly the same way. How they accomplished this, we don't know. So two planes and explosives that were in the building, is that correct? That is the working theory at this point. That is still unconfirmed. That is what the FBI is going on at this point. <laughs> I 
I was on the Harado show in 2010. And Harado, he, he looked at the films of Building 7 come down. He said to me, he said, God, Bob, you're absolutely right. This looks like a demolition to me. We've all seen old, obsolete buildings being demolished by the professionals who can actually collapse a building right in its own footprint. That's what it looks like happened to Building 7. We heard this, this sound that sounded like a clap of thunder. It looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out. About a second later, the bottom floor caved out. The building followed after that. Then I walked out to the lobby and Huckabee's there. And he, he said, this is unbelievable. I can't believe this. He says, this is a demolition. He told me it was a demolition. And I said, of course it was. But then you see what happens, you know, everybody shut up. So and what do you want? Let's get to the bottom I line went, before I, I want truth. I've been lied to. I'm a parent who has an obligation to find out why my son was murdered. None of us will ever forget this day. Yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Our democracy cannot survive without the truth. We must have a real investigation now, but that can only happen if we all demand one together. Please help me get justice for Bobby and the thousands of others who died that day and in the wars that followed. Support the Bobby McElvain Act. Go to AE911Truth to find out how you can help. 